Hi everyone, Jennifer from Tarl Speech with your two for Tuesday. Today we have three words um, and this is a request. Someone wanted to know what is the difference between marry to formally become a couple, marry cheerful, and marry the girl's name. So I am going to start by saying there will be variations regionally across the U.S., um, but I do hear most people say these words exactly the same. So you can go ahead and say these words the same. And when I did look them up um, in the dictionary, they do have the same pronunciation listed. So to say these words correctly, we're going to start with the M sound, mm. and to do this, just press your lips together and the air is going to move out of your nose. Mm. Next, we're going to move to the air vowel. Air. And to do this, you're going to open your mouth wide. You can see the tip of my tongue is low in my mouth and the back of my tongue is pulled up. Er. And then we're going to move to that er sound. And to do this, your lips are going to be square and tense. The tip of your tongue is going to be pointed down or flipped back. It doesn't matter which you choose to do, whichever one works best for you. Just be sure to not touch the tip of your tongue to your teeth and do not move the tip of your tongue. The R in English does not move. Air. And then we're just going to end by smiling because we're finished with an E, the long E sound. Your tongue is high and flat in your mouth and you are smiling. Let's put it all together. Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. And now for a sentence. Mary was Mary because she was going to marry the love of her life. Give it a try. I know people are going to notice the difference. If you found this helpful, we'd love a like and a share. Check out our products on Google Play iTunes and our website, tarlspeech.com, for all of our classes where you can find all of our products and where you can find on-demand and in-person classes. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you again soon.